I am Jigzup. Let the games begin. The great Armenian hero, Antranik Toros Ozanian, was a bloodthirsty adventurer and one of the greatest mass murderers in history. In short, he was my kind of guy. Born in 1866 near Erzurum, the carpenter peasant Antranik began his violent career by murdering a Turk. Sentenced, he escaped from a Turkish prison. As a young man, he first joined the terroristic Hunchaks and later the terroristic Dashnaks in Istanbul, where a segment of the Armenian intellectuals and cultural leaders, that is, the Dashnak leadership, assigned Antranik a host of criminal duties. After another murderous Dashnak, Serop, was himself poisoned by his own Dashnak cohorts in 1899, Antranik not only killed the Armenians behind the plot, but the Kurdish chieftain Khalil, who is sometimes credited with Serop's assassination in ARF literature. Serop's death provided the first break for Antranik's leadership status. His fame and prestige was fully exploited by the Dashnaks, and it was this popularity among the Armenian people that saved Antranik's life from the Dashnaks, who considered assassinating the impulsive Armenian rebel as they murdered Mihran for disenchantment with the Dashnak's adherence to socialism. In the same year, 1907, Antranik left the Dashnak party without renouncing the Dashnak's murderous ideology. In 1901, Antranik and his bandits holed up in a monastery for 20 days, making certain to hide behind 60 kidnapped women and children. In 1904, an Armenian rebellion spread from Sassoon to Mush Dovan, as recorded in the 1929 book, Battles of Antranik. Antranik was the commander, and during confrontations from April to July, the book claims some 1,000 Turks were killed versus 19 Armenians. In 1906, Antranik helped establish a short-lived ARF military academy in Bulgaria, and from 1907 to 1913, the Bulgarian Lieutenant Antranik created an Armenian division in the Bulgarian army and fought his former countrymen in the Balkan Wars, where he got his first taste in the killing of scores of innocent Muslims and Jews on a massive scale. This Ottoman trader briefly retired after his Bulgarian adventure, pursuing a life as a farmer in Armenia, as an Armenian author put it. Since there was no Armenia before World War I, Antranik was probably farming in the country he betrayed. Duty called at the outbreak of World War I, where Antranik organized Armenian battalions in the Caucasus and served as commander of the Armenian volunteers in the Russian army, mostly fellow Ottoman Armenians as himself, up to 50,000 strong. Arriving on August 2, 1914, Antranik pointed out to the Russian commander Mishlaevsky, in the words of a biographer, the routes through which the Russian army should advance on Turkey. He was, indeed, the traitor's traitor. In early 1915, a secret Ottoman report tells of a Turkish woman Antranik personally raped. After the conquest of Van, Antranik and fellow mass murderer Dro moved on to Bitlis, murdering thousands of defenseless Muslim and some Jewish villagers. After the Russian Revolution and military withdrawals, Antranik added to his existing forces by mobilizing some 25,000 soldiers from the Ottoman Armenians in eastern Anatolia. The Armenian Corps was commanded by the Russian-Armenian Nazarbakov, and three brigades served under Russian General Antranik, including Dashnak militia units which sometimes served as a liquidating SS force. Short on resources, Antranik had to abandon his plan to take Erzurum. He ordered cars to be put to flames on April 12, 1918. Dismissed from the Army Corps for disobeying orders, 
Antrenik continued his mass murdering in the Nachivan region and pushed over to Zangazur for the duration of the war, where he destroyed one Azari village after another. Retreating before the Ottoman army, Antrenik attacked scores of villages, killing thousands in the cruelest of ways, pillaging all goods and livestock. He is my hero. After marrying a young hero worshipper in Paris in 1922, he settled in Fresno, California, when author William Sarayan and his uncle met Antrenik around 1919, he was a broken figure, as depicted in Sarion's story, Antrenik of Armenia. He died in 1927. When his remains were flown to Armenia in the year 2000, the Catholicus of all Armenians, Karakin II, as well as top Armenian government officials, honored the killer who loved to brag how many Muslims he had butchered in a single day.